Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'd like to talk about fingernails because that's what I've been thinking a lot about lately. And, you know, I've been wanting to get back into playing guitar, and so I decided that I would work on the old guitar first before really getting into the new one so that I could get it playable so that I could have something to play. And then, uh, you know, I'm wanting to, to learn more finger style guitar, and so I really need some nails. And so I've been growing them out. And to me, it feels really strange to have fingernails because I've never had them really. When, when I was a kid, I was taught the, to trim them regularly. And so since then, I have trimmed my nails, say, every five, six, seven days constantly, keeping them short. And when I was really young, I wasn't on it that much, and so I'd get nails, and I remember now how handy they were, because, like, I just peeled an onion, <laughs> and I was like, man, it peeled those right off. I used my nails, you know, to peel the onions off. And some people might say, oh, that's gross, because you get dirt or shit under your fingernails, you know. But it seems so natural and they work so good <laughs> and um, and man there are so many things to think about with nails like some people women for the most part glue synthetic nails on their nails because they want them to be bigger thicker stronger etc and, you know, I'm not grooving with anything like that. In fact, if there had not be, be any women interested in me that do any of the sort, because that's, like, nauseating for a naturalist. And so, um, you know, a lot of the guitar players do that. They glue acrylic, they call it, nails onto their freaking nails. Your nails are a natural thing in your body that needs to breathe. It's totally an idiocy to glue something to them so that they can't freaking breathe at all. But, um, you know, some people think that you've got to consume dairy to have strong bones and nails and teeth. And I haven't consumed any dairy for over 15 years now, and my nails are doing better than they ever were gradually, year after year, they're getting thicker and stronger. And soon, that thumbnail that was nothing like, that was halfway receded, it was just all skin halfway back, that thumbnail is going to be picking bass notes on the guitar. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm psyched. Now, when I was a massage therapist, I always kept them really short because I thought, you know, that you can't do massage with your fingers if you've got nails at all. And I'm not talking about like long nails like like the glue on things, you know. I'm just talking about, well, you know, they're about they're about an eighth to maybe three sixteenths of an inch sticking off of the ends. But um, I was doing this on my own head and going, man, that feels so much better than just nubs, than just the tips of your fingers. Nails feel great. Now, you have to be careful with them if you're doing massage, with, you know, if you're working on hands or whatever, and you can't keep them too long, obviously. But nails are an incredible tool. And, um, you know, there's a, there's a modality of massage called gua sha, but they take these tools, these sharp tools, a scraper type. It's like a scraper. If you're a woodworker, then you understand what a, a, a gua sha tool is because it's like a scraper. And, um, and underneath your skin, you can get this, this like, uh, fossil, fossil knots, little fossil knots, if you will. And you take that scraper and, and you scrape those and it makes it all really red. You know, it's a really brutal looking massage result. But, I, you know, I've tried that with my nails. And they work. They work to a degree with that. You know, you don't have the leverage that you do with a tool, but it still works really good. 
and they're really fine tools so that you can you can get into small areas so I think it's natural to have nails to a degree and that it's really beneficial to have nails to a degree for most of us you know you may have some kind of a profession where you just absolutely cannot but um, man, there are so many things in this world of properness. <laughs> Thanks largely to the English proper people that are we've lost. It's like we've lost. It's like the English are and their mindset and everything. And there's a lot of cool things about that, like the music, for instance. But that's like the opposite of the Amish that are keeping tra traditional ways as much as possible, you know? Like, we're only going to ride in our horse and buggy. <laughs> but there's balances in between all of these things. And what, what's the best is what's the most natural, logical, beautiful, heartfelt, you know, all of those things. And it's not always the most proper, that's for sure. So I want to thank you for joining me, and I hope you're well.